Oh, we're back again. This is TV Paint Animation Video Tutorials Lesson 1, Part G, I think we're on now. Um, and this is going to be just covering the memory and cache and a few things about video fields. Um, so if you're going to follow along with the, uh, the PDF manual, we're on page Lesson 1 16, so it's uh, Lesson 1, page 16. So the memory and cache tab, which is in the preferences panel. Okay, let me just read from here and uh, see what it says. So the the tab first displays the physical memory available on your computer. And on my computer, I've got one gig, which is 1,022 megabytes. Um, just below this field, you will find a numeric field and a mini slider next to it. The field is used to attribute the amount of memory you require for undo uh, option, which uh, allows you to. Uh, return to and undo previous steps when drawing on the screen. The higher this value, the further you back you may go. However, the default value is largely su uh, sufficient. So 32 megs is a good guideline to go with. If you find that's not enough, you can up it a bit. If you find you're struggling with it, the general running of your computer, you maybe want to go and drop that down a little bit. Um, TV Paint Animation Pro uses the physical memory of your computer and one or several temporary files as discussed in the general tab. So that's going to be your your temporary uh, location for temporary files which, you, which by default is a C drive. You, you may want to allow TV Paint Animation Pro to manage this function automatically or impose a maximum cache size to be used. Uh, this is useful if you're u working simultaneously with several programs demanding large storage capacity. With regard to this point, it should be noted that TV Print Animation Pro manages operating systems using over 3 gigs of uh, physical memory. Uh, and it's got a little note here to save your shortcuts. Uh, colors or other predefined preferences for later use with TV Paint Animation Pro. Do not forget to save your configuration before quitting the program. So all your configs that you're changing at the moment, um, you need to go and save them as well. Can we actually save them on here? Uh, default. Yes, you can. You can save them here. So you can save them within the preferences panel. Uh, but it's also saying you can save them on, on exit. So if you want to go and save your configuration file when you exit the program, you can do it there. So, um, yeah, that might actually cover that. Let's let's do the next bit in an, in another video. Make lots of videos. That's what we're here for. So that just covered memory and cache basically. So I'll be back shortly.